Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this interactive hero section using HTML and CSS. And this is also completely responsive. So if you decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called modern hero section and uh, I also have this folder called images and in that we have these three images which are going to use in our design. And let's start with the necessary file. So let's create a new file called index.html and let's create another file called style.css and let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here let's link our CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, let's type style or CSS. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a header tag. And in that, we'll have several sections. So these are different sections. So let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of section. And uh, in that, we'll create another division with a class of number for this number that we see over here. So let's type 01 for the first section. And then we have this bottom section where we have this heading and this paragraph. So I'll just go ahead and create a division with the class of bottom. And in that we will have an H2 for the heading and let's type heading one. And let's create a paragraph. And uh, let's copy this uh, paragraph from here and I'll just paste it over here. So this is the first section. If you take a look at this, we also have this background image. So let's add the image right here. I'll just go outside this bottom division and let's create an IMG tag and for the source let's type images forward slash and 1.jpg and now let's go ahead and copy this section and let's paste it two more times so we have three sections in total so the second one let's set the number to 02 and let's change the heading and uh, let's copy this uh, paragraph and let's paste it over here and then we have the third section. So let's change the number to 03. And let's change the heading to heading 3. And let's copy this and paste it over here. So with that, we have added all the details. And let's also change the numbers of the images. So let's change this to image 2.jpg and images 3.jpg. And now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see we have the first uh, section and we have the image and everything is being displayed over here. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, let's start by adding some styles to the body. So let's tap body and uh, the first thing we will do is set the margin to zero. So we don't have any margins which is being applied default by the browser. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to display these different sections one next to the other. So let's target the header and in the header, we have the different sections. So let's set the display to flex for that. And let's set the width to 100%. And let's set the font family to Roboto and Sans Serif. And uh, let's also set the height to 100 viewport height. And this is how it looks. So we have all these uh, different sections one next to the other. But now let's go ahead and set the height and width of the image. So let's type header section image and let's set the width to 100% of the parent and let's also set the height to 100% of the parent and let's set the object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. And now let's go ahead and set the width of each of these sections to the same. So let's target the section. So I'll just type header section and let's set the flex to one. And now we can see each of them have the same width. Right now let's add some padding to the sections. So let's type padding and let's set the padding to 16 pixels. And uh, let's also set the display to flex and the flex direction to column. And uh, now we need to have this number at the top and uh, this bottom section at the bottom. Now before that, let's go ahead and set the position of these images to absolute and we'll position it relative to this section division. So for the section, I'll just type position relative and for the image, let's type position absolute and uh, let's set the top position to zero and uh, right and left position to zero. And now we can see that the image is on top of the content. So let's set a Z index and let's set it to negative one. 
And now we can see that the content is on top. Now let's bring this uh, bottom division to the bottom. So here for the section, we have set the display to flex and let's set the justify content to space between. And now we can see that the bottom section is at the bottom. Now by default, we need to set the opacity of the image to a lower value and also set a filter so that the saturation is zero. So let's do that. So here for the image, let's go ahead and type opacity of 0 0.2 and let's set the filter to saturate zero. And this is how it looks. And now when we hold over this section, we need to change the saturation and also the opacity of the image. So let's type header section colon hover IMG and let's set the filter to saturate one and uh, let's set the opacity to one and we'll also add a smooth transition. So let's type transition of all 300 milliseconds ease. And now we can see that the image is working correctly. Now let's go ahead and style the other elements. So let's style the number. So here I'll just type header and uh, we have this division with the class of number. So let's target that. I'll just type number over here. And for the number, let's set the font size to 20 pixels. And let's set the font weight to bold. And when we hover over this section, we need to change the font size of the number. So let's go ahead and type header, section, colon, hover, number. And when we hover over this, we need to change the font size of the number to 40 pixels. And uh, we need to have a smooth transition. So here for the number, let's type transition of all 300 milliseconds is. Now we also need to change the color of the text when you hover over this section. So here for the section, we need to add a hover. So I'll just type header, section, colon, hover. And let's set the color to white. And now we can see everything is looking all right. Now for the number, we also have this effect where we have this uh, line before the number when we hover over this section. So let's create that. We will use a before selector for that. So here for the number, let's type header number column column before. Now we need to position this before selector relative to this number. So here we need to type position relative and here we need to type position absolute. And let's set the content of the number to blank by default. Now let's go ahead and set a height of four pixels and let's set the width to zero pixels by default and opacity to zero by default. And then let's set the left value to negative 46 pixels. This is what I calculated. And uh, let's set the top position to 50% from the top. And let's also add a transition of all 300 milliseconds ease. And we also need to add a background color and uh, let's set it to yellow. All right, now let's add a hover for this before selector. So let's type header, section, colon, hover. And here let's type number, colon, colon, before. And when you hover this, we need to set the opacity to one and we need to set the width to 36 pixels. And now we can see we have the line displayed. But when we have the line displayed, we need to move both these elements to the right. So for the number here in the hover effect, let's go ahead and type transform, translate X, and let's set it to 40 pixels. And now we can see everything looks all right for the number. Now let's go ahead and style this heading. So let's go ahead and type header section H2. Let's set the font size to 30 pixels. Let's set a margin bottom of zero and font family of poppins sans serif. And let's also set a fixed height for this bottom section. So let's type header bottom. And let's set the height to 200 pixels. And we need to bring it up when we hover over this. So here we can see that the header and the paragraph move up. By default, the paragraph is not being displayed. So let's do all of that. Let's go back and uh, by default, let's add a transform translate Y and let's set it to 80 pixels. And now we can see that the bottom section has moved down 80 pixels. And let's also set the overflow to hidden for this header so that anything outside this header is not being displayed. Right now, let's go back and uh, let's add a transition for smooth animation. So let's tap transition of all 300 milliseconds is and let's add the hover effect. So let's tap header section colon hover bottom and let's type transform translate Y and let's set it back to zero. So now we can see that everything is working all right. Now we need to hide the paragraph at the beginning. So let's add some styles to the paragraph. Here let's tap header section P. Let's set the font size to 16 pixels. Let's set the opacity to zero by default. Let's set the line height to 1.7. And uh, let's add the hover effect. So let's tap header section colon hover P. 
and let's set the opacity back to 1. So now we can see that everything is working alright. So we have the correct animation for all the elements. Right now let's make this responsive. So let's decrease the width of the browser window. And let's add a media query. So I'll just tap at media and let's set the max width to 800 pixels. So whenever the width of the screen is less than 800 pixels, all these styles that we have inside this block will be added to our design. So first of all, we need to display all the sections one below the other. So let's tap header, flex direction and column. Let's also add a gap of one pixel and let's set the color of all the text to white by default. Right now, let's go ahead and set a minimum height. So let's tap header section and let's set a minimum height of 300 pixels for all these sections. And by default, we'll just display the paragraph and also display this colorful image because in smaller screens, we typically don't have the hover effects. And right now we can see that the third section is not being displayed. That's because we have added overflow of hidden to the header. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here we can see that we have set the height to 100 viewport height and we have set the overflow to hidden. So let's go ahead and set the overflow back to auto. And now we can see that all the sections are being displayed. Right now let's go ahead and set the transform of the bottom section to zero by default. And uh, now we can see that the bottom section stays there. Right now let's target the image. So let's tap header, section, IMG. And let's set the opacity to one. And let's set the filter to saturate one. And now we need to display the paragraph by default. So let's type header, section, P. And let's set the opacity to one by default. And we'll also display these numbers in this state by default. So let's go ahead and type header, section, number, colon, colon before. And let's set the opacity to one and uh, the width to 36 pixels as we set over here. So let's type width 36 pixels. And let's also change the transform of this number and also the font size. So let's type header, section, number. Let's set the font size to 40 pixels, which is the font size that we are having when we hover over the section. And let's set the transform translate X to 40 pixels. And now we can see that everything is looking all right. Now here after the bottom section, we have some gap. That's because uh, here for the bottom, we have set a fixed height. So here in the smaller screens, let's go ahead and set the height to auto. And now we can see that everything looks all right. So with that, we have made our design responsive. Let's take a look at the larger screen and let's see whether we have everything working all right. So everything is working all right. So that's basically how you can create this uh, interactive hero section using HTML and CSS. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.